my previous video showed the laser beam audio filter being used with the Yaesu FT817. Tonight I'm going to try it with some homebrew receivers. These are just three or four transistor affairs and the filter should make an even bigger difference to the reception of weak signals with them. Here we're tuning the CW end of 40 meters. Filter in wide. This is in wide setting. We'll just put it into narrow. Wide, narrow. Now when you're casually tuning across the band, it's definitely better to have it in wide. Especially if you're using a tuning control that doesn't have a vernier reduction drive. Now here we've got two signals. I should mention that propagation is very poor this evening. I should explain what receiver this is. It's only three transistors. There's a local oscillator using a 3.5 megahertz ceramic resonator. There's a one transistor detector. I think it's a FET that has a fairly sharp tuned circuit. Here's the coil for it and the capacitor that brings it to resonance. And then that's followed by a one transistor audio amplifier. The local oscillator here operates as the BFO the receiver itself covers both 80 and 40 meters, the 40 meter reception provided by the harmonic of this ceramic resonator local oscillator. So it's really simple, it's a little bit lacking in audio gain, but with the filter it's almost a whole new receiver, giving excellent reception. This is possibly a fairer test, it's using a direct conversion transceiver. And the audio output is a little bit higher. We'll plug in the amplifier. This is in wide mode. And this is in narrow. That's our second look at the laser beam digital audio filter. I think that's shown that it's a useful asset both for commercially made rigs and also for homebrew, regenerative or direct conversion receivers as well.